YouTube Model Railroader fans, budget Model Railroader fans, and whoever else happens to watch this wonderful brand of nuttiness that I seem to be bringing every week. We are now up to vlog number 13. <coughs> it happens to be April the 2nd of 2017. This is actually vlog 13 for 2017. Now, <laughs> um, was going to actually do this last night which I think would have been unique because it would have been April the 1st. But the thing of it is, is just like everybody else, you know, I just got finished a 31-day march. So, um... <clears throat> Anywho, um, no, in all seriousness, we, we ended up having, ended up doing some things last night as a family, so that was cool. Got to go out and see a play. Went to, actually went to dinner, saw a play, so... That... Is done. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I was thinking about what I was going to do this year for April the 1st, but like I said, nah, I just let it pass. So, um, we're just going to go ahead and jump right on into, which isn't a whole lot, but we're going to go ahead and just jump on into the railroad. Um, still messing around with, uh, with YouTube and YouTube Buddy, or Tube Buddy, or whatever. Yeah, it's Tube Buddy, I'm sorry. Uh, that uh, Mr. Tom from Tom's Trains and Things happened to uh, bring up, and I think uh, also Sparky uh, 107107 has been using it as well. Um, I've started playing with it. I haven't really... I, I started doing some things on my own, and then I got a hold of TubeBuddy, and I'm still going back and making amendments to my previous videos. So, you know... Is it working? I have no idea. So, but, <clears throat> that's that's what it is. Um, so I'm still messing with that. Uh, I know it's it's kind of sort of railroad related, but it's not really the railroad. And I hit the bench. <clears throat> but, you know, it, it is what it is. And, you know, I, I gotta try and... <clears throat> gotta try and figure out the, you know, ways of building things up a little bit, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, shout out to Model Railer. I finally got it right, John. I see that? Um, shout out to Model, Ra Model Railer. I almost goofed it up that time, though. Oh, um, you know, if you haven't seen, hey, what's going on? Um, that John, <laughs> Model Railer. Uh, congratulations to him and his family. Uh, they, they they have grown by one. Uh, <clears throat> they uh, had a they had a boy this week, so now he's got a boy and a girl. And uh, from what I understand, everybody is happy and healthy and home, so that's a good thing. Congrats uh, to Model Railer and family. So there you go. <laughs> um, uh, let's see what else has been going going down. Um, actually, you know, <laughs> I think it's a, been a couple of vlogs ago now, but um, actually had somebody ask me something completely off topic, and um, it, it, it was funny to me because it's actually been brought up before, and of course my father even told me I had a face for radio. But I'm boom See, the hits just keep on coming. Um, <laughs> this... <laughs> Um, and, and, and in reality, <clears throat> getting back to, <laughs> getting back to what was brought up. Oh, see all the dust flying around here? Woo! Uh, anyway, getting back to, um, what was brought up was, you know, <laughs> when I was younger, and granted I'm, I'm much older now, but uh, when I was younger, when I was in, in school, I was, I guess, for the lack of a better term, to a point, I was dub class clown. I don't know where that ever came from. Huh? Um, and, um, <laughs> you know, back in the day, I used to do voices, which most of them I can't do anymore, unfortunately. As I've gotten older, my voice has changed. And I can't do the ones that I did do that I used to do anymore. That's all, folks. Um, <coughs> that waska wee wabbit. Um, <laughs> that's only a few. 
Anywho, um, no, somebody had actually asked me if I, um, if I had ever done radio. Well, no. But the thing of it was, is I actually, when I was aboard ship and we were over in the uh, Gulf, of, uh, over in the Persian Gulf, uh, we actually had a, an onboard TV show um, that we did every day. Uh, it was a news. It was basically a news feed. Um, we would take whatever was coming across the, uh, the, the the coming across the microwave, not something that you put the put food in, but literally microwaves. Um, you know, we'd we'd get that from the radio radio room, and they would obviously go through and tell us what we could and couldn't use. Um, but I was basically the news anchor, and then there was a guy that did the weather, which. You're in the middle of the Persian Gulf, you know. We, we he had a ball with it. I, I you know, it, it, I remember at one point they were sitting there and they decided that they were going to have a little bit of fun with it. They doused him with packing peanuts at one point uh, to make it look like it was snowing. <laughs> you know, uh, all the goofy stuff. Um, we had a guy that did the sports, and then of course, like I said, I just did the normal news. So, no, I've never done radio. Although some people have told me that I, like I said, I've got a, I've got a voice for, or I, like I said, my father said I had a face for radio. <laughs> I'm not sure what that was meant, but, but you know, um, <laughs> slightly off topic, but since it was brought up, there you go. <clears throat> I am me, and that's that's the bottom line. So. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I think we made our wrong turn in Albuquerque. <clears throat> See, you got me started. That's not a good thing. That's not a good thing. You're not supposed to do that, Sonny. Anyway, um, what else was I going to get into? I... <laughs> This week has been really goofy. Next week isn't going to be much better. It's actually going to be a lot, a lot tighter. Um, I was really hoping to get down here and uh, and make some uh, progress on the mashup. Unfortunately, I didn't get there. Um, then it was another decent weekend, halfway decent weekend. Yesterday wasn't so nice, but the day was really nice, and uh, I went ahead and finally finished up the project that I started last weekend, which was fixing the electrical problem out back. Um, but, uh, you know, I didn't, just didn't get down here and have time to play with that. So, that's coming. Stick around. Stick around. That, that mashup locomotive will be, will be started at some point. Um, I know that, and of course, if you don't follow him, um, on Facebook, um, a fellow by the name of Bill Sturgeon in the Elizabethtown and Benton Central Railroads, um, he, uh, was working on a, <laughs> this guy, let me tell you, um, Bill Sturgeon, if you're watching this, man, thumbs up, bud. Uh, he, <laughs> he comes up with some really, really unique ideas. He took a, um, a wrecking crane, at one of the rare wrecking cranes. Um, I think it may have been... I'm not sure. I'm not sure who the manufacturer was. I don't even know if he knows who the manufacturer was. Um, but he um, he went ahead and cleaned it up, took it apart, and especially the the, the work caboose or the work car. Um, he made it, took a uh, old scrap caboose and put it onto a what was a half gondola, half flat car. It really turned out nice. I mean, props again, Mr. Sturgeon, if you're watching, if you happen to watch these things, I'm not sure that you do. I already had given him props on uh, on it on on his page, but if you all check him out, I'll try and put a link down in the description. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll put a link down in the description for Bill Sturgeon and the Elizabethtown and Benton Central Railroads. Um, like I said, he's he's come up with some rather rather nice stuff. A lot of it's a lot of the stuff is mashup. Um, one of the things that he just got finished building was what he calls a super hopper. Um, it's literally uh, two hopper cars cut in the center and <laughs> molded together into things like 
No, well, let's put it this way. To me, in the pictures, it looks like it's about as long as a nature scale passenger car. I mean, the thing is humongous. But, you know, he's he, he likes to tinker, so, you know, he's he's done... I, I know he's done one of these dudes. Um, you know, the uh, uh, BQ-23-7s. Um, I know he's got a couple. I think he actually has one painted up for the home, for his home railroad. Um, but the the man is is like a master at at mashing up locomotives and, and other things, rolling stock nail too as well. Um, like I said, it, 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 he he's it, the guy is unbelievable. I, I really wish he had a YouTube channel and could show some of the things that he's done because he is. He's incredible. The, the, the stuff that he comes up with. I mean, he here it is. I think he was talking about this on Monday, and by Friday it was done. And it's like, it mean, must be nice. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking to myself, well, he's either retired or semi-retired. So that that you know, for those of us to have to work, <laughs> you know, at least a lot longer. You know, it, it, it's going to be a while. But you know, hey, that's that's that that's great. That's great. Uh, let's see, what else is going on in the wacky world over here at the Beauville Newtown? Um, really not much. Uh, of course, in response to what Bill did, I happened to show him what I had with my, my wrecking crane, um, which is an old Bachman, uh, Bachman unit from the, I think from the early to mid-80s. Um, it was originally painted up for the Amtrak, or painted up for Amtrak. I went ahead and patched it out and put the... BNN on the side of it, not Beauville and Newtown, but just the BNN on the side. Um, left the rest of the recorded reporting marks there, just changed the name. Uh, one of these days I'll repaint the thing, but for the moment, it'll work. Um, in fact, I think I may have showed it once before, but oh, let's go ahead and take a look. And that there, folks, is exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, that is the the crane and the uh, and the uh, work car that go together. Um, like I said, mine is a uh, mine's just a, is basically pretty much well. Actually, it is stock with the exception of the fact that the Beauvel New Newtown has been put on the side of it. So that's it. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> and we're back. So, anyway, um, I'm actually going to try and hit that 15-minute mark tonight, or less. So, you know, folks, uh, thank you to the, my subscribers and to the groups that I'm a part of. Um, you know, I, uh, I probably still wouldn't be doing this. And, of course, I know that the, here it is, like I said, I'm on Vlog 13 for the year, and I think I've shown very little railroading stuff, but... It is what it is. Um, you know, I'm going to get around to doing some more railroading stuff here shortly. It's just work and, and everything else right now is just not not cooperating. Let's put it that way. Let make it easy. So, with that being said, you all know the deal. <laughs> you wait for the highball. Green tracks ahead. God bless. We'll catch you all next time. Be safe out there, folks. See ya.